So you want to jack the back, the jack screw, back it off all the way, so that's not holding you back. And when you install the belts, the first one you want to do is you want to go on the inside belt, and you want to put the inside belt on the outside groove, and then slip that over the pulley outside groove, and then you'll slip it over on the pulley side to the inside groove and slip that pulley or that belt to the inside groove on the drive beam side and then you'll half twist the belt get it up and push it right over the idler and then do the exact same thing for your second belt and I find it's easier to twist the drive tube to get the belt slide over the pulley you'll do a half twist and get it over the idler so the belts are installed on this side. And then you do the same thing on the opposite side. Now you have all four belts installed. And at this time you can do a visual lineup to make sure that the belt spacing is the same on this side as it is on this side. And the belts should be somewhat centered on the either pulley. Once they look good, and you can tighten your jack screw. As you tighten the jack screw, you'll see the belt will start to have tension. The most important thing with installing belts is that number one, you don't want them too tight. If you can imagine, you've got four belts on here and you have a shaft, a common shaft that goes through the, the gearbox. And if you get the tension too tight, what you're doing is you're trying to bend the shaft in and you'll see that your oil will leak out from the seals here. That's always the first thing that you can tell. If I go to a job site and you can see that there's oil on the floor and it's coming from this point, you want to check your belts to make sure your belts aren't too tight. These belts should have about a half inch of play when you squeeze them and you just want to make sure that the top of the belt is not riding on the bottom of the aluminum drive beam. Once you get your belt tension correct, then you can tighten the locking nut on your jack screw so that doesn't move. It's a standard half inch nut. A couple of turns and your drive is installed.